Hello everyone in this video we are going to learn about pressure formula pressure is defined as the force applied per unit area in simple terms it tells us how much force is spread over a particular area the formula for pressure is given by equation p is equals to f divided by a where p is pressure f is force applied and a is area Remember this formula as P equals F divided by A. Pressure is measured in unit called pascals. When one body exerts pressure on another body, two key factors comes into play. The first factor is the magnitude of the force applied. As the force increases, the pressure applied also increases in direct proportion. This happens because by definition pressure varies directly with the force applied the second factor is the area over which the force is applied which is the contact surface between two objects interestingly you can increase the pressure resulting from a given force by reducing the contact area this means that the smaller contact area leads to a higher pressure for the same amount of force This can be explained with the help of two examples. Now our first example is of high heeled shoes. We know that high heeled shoes sink deeper on a soft ground in comparison to flat ones. This is because in high heeled shoes weight is spread over a small area in comparison to flat ones. This results in higher pressure. Our second example is of broad handles in bags or suitcases. Now these broad handles in bags and suitcases are provided for comfort. Broad handles have a large area. So the pressure exerted on the hands and shoulders would be small while carrying the bags and the suitcases. Let's put the pressure formula into action. Say you are pushing a box on a floor with a force of 500 newton and the bottom area of the box is 2 meter squared. Remember our formula is pressure equals to force divided by area. Substituting the values we have 500 newtons divided by 2 meter squared. On calculating you get pressure P is equals to 250 pascals. So you are exerting a pressure of 250 pascals on that floor. I hope you learned about the pressure formula and how to use this formula when you have information about force in area. Now if you have any questions please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.